Hey guys, what's up? Stone Crates Eclipse 222, and today I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I hook up my um, Dazzle and all my recording equipment to record games. Um, this is actually on a request for uh, One Man Army 519. So this is for you and anyone else who ever wanted to know how to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, <coughs> you'll need this. This is a Dazzle. This is the thing I used to record. And then uh, right here, this is where you plug all your stuff in. Now you don't want to plug it directly in here. What you want to do is buy these splitter cables that will come with it, and you'll need three of them. There's two of them, and there's another one that makes three. So there you got three cables, and then this. What you do is you need to hook these up to this, Three sets will, of these, like for example, these three sets here will go in your Dazzle, and then these other three sets go in your TV, or vice versa. It's all, it's not color specific, it does not matter what real order you plug it in. So let me go ahead and do that for you. So now that I've plugged those in, as you can see right here, we've got our audios. The, the red one and the white one that I decided to color code just for this video. Like I said, it is not color specific. And then you've got this part over here. This is your video. And then you've got S video, which I don't use, but you have the option to use it. All right, so set up for this. Let's just go ahead and set this up right here. So you want to find a good spot to set your dazzle because you're going to want to have these in a close area too so you can keep these plugged in as I will plug in right now. So let's see this one goes for the video so I'm going to plug it in the video slot. Alright easy enough. This one goes for the white audio because that's how, where it's at on my dazzle and here this one will go in for the red one like I said one more time these are not color specific doesn't matter what color you plug in to what alright so now you've got your dazzle all set up and then you've got this USB end here to go into your computer like my laptop now you've got your console I'm picking the Super Nintendo so let me go ahead and slap a game in we'll put in Clay Fighter Alright, see, we got our game in and everything. We're all ready to game. Now all we have to do is take these here and hook them in here. And you'll want to, this is where you want to make sure where you plugged everything in at. Such as this one here will go in for your video because that's where it's at on your TV. Otherwise, if you don't plug them in in the right order um, from your console, it's not going to show up or it may show up and you may not have audio or something like that. So then we find this one here is the middle one for the audio. So it's either left or right. I'm not sure which one the white one is or the red one what the real difference is. And then the red one here going in here. Come on, get in there. There we go. There, now they are all in, so that's basically what it'll look like once you've got everything plugged in. Get a more top overhead view. And then, basically, that's what it'll look like. Now, let me go ahead and set this in a firm, secure spot so it doesn't fall down. And let me go ahead and pause this and show you some more things. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is take this and USB this into your computer. Now, there may be a few things you want to know before I go ahead and state any more about this. Um, if you have Windows XP, you can record in Windows Movie Maker, so you may not want to buy the Dazzle with the software. However, Windows Vista will not allow this for some reason, or at least I have never found a way to let it work, um, the Dazzle work with Windows Vista, or Windows Movie Maker and the Windows Vista OS. So, what I'm going to have to do is go click here. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but I've got highlighted Pinnacle Studio 12, the software that comes with it. So I'm going to double click it, and we'll watch it load. I'm not going to use Snagit to show you guys this. You guys can just watch it from the screen here. 
Okay, so once it finishes loading, which it doesn't take too awful long, um, basically another thing you'll want to find out is what your computer's stats are, which I'll go ahead and post my computer's specs so you guys can kind of cross-reference what my videos look like, what yours may look like. So here we're on the setup screen here. Um, so then first thing we want to do is go to capture. And I'm going to tell you right now it's not going to show anything up because I have not turned the console on. So just give me a second and I will let this load. And we will see where it says valid input signal hasn't been found. That's because we haven't turned a console on to know, let it know. You can just hit OK. It'll just sit here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the console on and show you what it looks like. All right, got that all set up. As you can see, that is showing up. Also on the TV. See, everything is working just fine. When you want to start capture video, you just do this. Click Start Capture. Then it will ask you just what you want to name the file. Then you hit OK. And one more thing I wanted to mention real quick. Just a second. Um, this is also going to play through your computer speakers here, so if you want, so if you want to mute it or whatever, I'm muting this. Okay, so now that you can tell, it does play through your computer speakers, so if you want to mute it, um, go ahead and mute it. And that's all you got to do. Um, and that's it. That's how you set up your games. So I hope that helped you. If you guys run in with any problems or anything like that, if my setup didn't help you, let me know, and I'll try and answer your questions as best I can. This is Stoner Crazy Clips 222. And I'll catch y'all around.